developing story we first told you about as breaking news during this newscast last evening. A couple killed in Chambers County. The husband and wife were found shot to death in their Beach City home. And just hours ago, we learned their 14-year-old grandson, who's been living with them, has been charged with two counts of capital murder. New at 6, investigators just left that home. Our Jake Reiner is joining us live from there. And Jake, we understand you spoke with some of the couple's relatives. That's correct, Bill. Relatives did show up here at the house within the last hour or so. And as you can see, the caution tape is down. Investigators are gone. And relatives told us they were going to the hardware store to get some tools to change the locks and also clean up inside as the reality of this sinks in. Yes, we're dealing with so much. No, disrespect our privacy right now. We're having a hard time dealing with it. Family members told us to respect their privacy as they mourn the loss of Sandra and Chester Beanick. Grandparents in their 70s allegedly murdered by their grandson in their sleep. It's very unsettling. Very unsettling. Unsettling for a number of reasons for a small beach city community that seldom sees law enforcement. There's been a lot of activity here from yesterday into today. I cannot imagine what the parents of this child are going through right now knowing that this child killed their parents. I mean, it's just. Like I said, very, very unbelievable. Family members say the 14 year old boy was autistic. Investigators say teachers at Barbers Hill Middle School became concerned when the student missed school Monday and Tuesday. The principal and a police officer visited the Beach City home on Monday. The boy said he was sick. The principal told the student to have his grandfather call the school when they got home from shopping. They never went shopping, nor did the grandfather call. The principal called back Tuesday. We're told that when the principal made that call, the boy actually answered, and investigators say he tried to actually impersonate his grandfather. The principal noticed that it wasn't the grandfather and told the boy to go find his grandparents. He left, came back to the phone crying, saying there was blood on his grandmother. That's when EMS crews and police showed up here to find the two in bed with a gunshot wound, both to each of their backs of their heads. And a 45 caliber gun, they say, is was was the weapon that was used in this crime. It was already in the house at the time. Reporting live, I'm Jake Reiner, KPRC Channel 2 News.